All right, I kind of figured I'd get some takers on this uh, 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 video here. For this one here, you look at this and it just looks like a hot mess. You've got fractions all over the place. But what we want to do is to do some things to this so that it is simpler. And if you look at here, if I multiply both sides of these equations by the least common denominator, which is 10. So I multiply every single thing by 10. What happens is these cancel 10 divided by 10. That kind of goes away, leaving me with a y. 10 here, this 5 cancel, but that's a 2. So 2 times 2 is negative 4. And here, the 5 cancels. So again, I needed to multiply it by here. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So we have our 2x. All of a sudden, that looks oh so much nicer. We're going to do the same thing here. Here again, we want to do our least common denominator, which is 40. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 40. What happens, you need to make sure you distribute. So 40 divided by 20 is 2. 40 divided by 40 is 1. And 40 divided by 10 is 4. So now we need to go ahead and eliminate them. So you have some options. You can plug this guy into the y. Or I'm going to go ahead and just multiply through this by a negative 2 and cancel. I like canceling. I think it's more fun. So I end up getting 0 for my y's. And then negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. And then 8 plus 4 is 12. And so then x is equal to 4. And now what I need to do is to go ahead and plug it back in to solve into one of these guys here to solve for y. So y is equal to 2 times 4, x is 4, minus 4. Wow, y is equal to 4 as well. So the solution to this system happens to be 4 comma 4. So that means that point, if I were to graph these, would be the one spot that they are crossing.